How's it going everybody? It's Aparicio and today what we're going to be doing is creating a kind of trippy motion trail effect in DaVinci Resolve. Um, yeah, that summarizes the whole video. I was just messing around in Fusion and I just created this and I thought it looked cool so I wanted to show everybody. So with that being said, let's get right into it. So hover over your clip and click the Fusion page down here. You see our clip here. I'm gonna drag my playhead to the beginning. You know, I wanna make this guy's world a little trippy. So how are we gonna do that? First thing we're gonna do is click media in one, click shift space. Go ahead and add edge detect. Add it. You can see it already looks pretty cool. You can mess with the settings over on the right. Do whatever you want to them. And by the way, I'm almost at 3000 subs. If you're new here, subscribe so I can get there. Thank you. And now what you're gonna do is click an empty space and click shift space and add a magic mask see that add it and come up here and drag a merge node right there plug your magic mask right into the merge one and then you're gonna come over here to the media in one drag that into the magic mask now we want it to kind of cut our guy out of the edge detect background. And you're about to see what that means. So let's drag and draw around our guy here, playing a guitar, feeling some type of way, we don't know. So there we go. And now you might be thinking it's kind of hard to tell where you cut out. So what you're gonna do is click edge detect and drag that brightness all the way up. And now you're gonna be able to see, drag the gamma all the way down. Now you'll be able to see what you're doing here. So you kind of zoom in with controller command and your mouse scroll wheel. And, you know, I'm gonna subtract. So just subtract anything that isn't supposed to be there in your shot. Uh, there we go. Like this whole part right there. Oh, like right here. All right, now I gotta add some back. There we go. So just keep going back and forth with this until you're happy. All right, I'm happy with this. So click here and zoom in. I would put up the blur a little bit and put this down a little bit. All right, there you go. Now we'll go back to edge detect and put your settings back to how you want it. All right, so you cut it out the way you want it. So now what you're gonna do is uh, magic mask is selected. We're going to go back to tracking and if you're at the beginning of, the, of your clip, go ahead and hit track forward and you're going to wait. Obviously, just give it a minute. Give it a minute. All right, so once it's done, uh, it's tracked so you can play it and the effect is on your whole clip. And now what you're going to do is you're going to drag a second merge after edge detect and then you're gonna click an empty space, shift space, and add a drip node, okay? And you're gonna enter that into merge two, and nothing happens, it's because you have to drag out from edge detect and into drip one, all right? And now you can see what's going on. So with your playhead in the beginning of your clip, click a keyframe under phase, the drip one selected, drag to the end, and just pump it up so you get some nice wavy effects and just let it play out just give it a second the second playthrough should be a little smoother all right so while mine's playing i can see his head kind of coming out a little bit and i don't like that so what you can do is uh, drip one selected go ahead and click ellipse invert it drag it down i'm going to put it over his head so it's not affecting anything in the ellipse. And I'm gonna create a soft edge. And as you can see, it's a lot better. That is pretty much the basics of doing this type of effect. You can probably add a lot to this, like pulsing lights and add some flicker, add some glow. That will conclude today's video. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you didn't, and with that being said, I will see you in the next one.